Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video to watch it. So this is the look I have for you guys. I have no idea what to call it, but um, I'm sure by now I'll figure it out can still watching this video. Um, but I love the look and I thought to share it with you guys. And I usually start by doing my eyebrows, but I forgot and <laughs> so I am priming my eye and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun and I'm using Tap Brush from BH Cosmetics. I don't know what it's called. And then after I blend this out, I'm going to use my S1 powder to set it and then I'm going to go to my eyebrow. Um, for my eyebrow, I ran out of my um, ELF eyebrow pencil and I decided to improvise. I mean, what a girl has to do, what a girl has to do, you know? So. <laughs> I'm going into this eyeshadow palette from PH Cosmetics and I'm using that brown shade to line my eyebrow and fill it in. You've noticed that when I'm filling in my eyebrow, um, the front part of my eyebrow, I I am taking it upward instead of sideward, if that makes sense. But yeah, the way I'm doing it right now. So I'm just filling in the um, the end of my eyebrow that way and then the rest of the eyebrow I go sideways and put it in. The eyebrow is too brown for me I felt so I'm just going to take this black shade from this eyeshadow palette from Beach Cosmetics. This is a take me to Brazil eyeshadow palette and I'm just taking that black shade and lightly putting that on my eyebrow. I don't want my eyebrow to be too dark um, but I don't want it to be um, as brown as it was. So I'm just lightly putting the brown and filling it in some more. So now I'm just cleaning up my eyebrow with the same concealer and just going to blend that out with my finger. And next it's time for the eye and I am just going to take that white shade from the Tokyo to Brazil eyeshadow palette from Beach Cosmetics and I'm going to put that on my eyebrow and blend it out. It doesn't really show on screen but um, I'm doing this because I just want some kind of base um, for the rest of the eyeshadow. And I'm going to take that brown shade from the D by Box Beauty eyeshadow palette and put that um, on my crease and above my crease and I'm going to blend that out. I'm using a blending brush from Wet n Wild to apply this shade on my eye. So after I've applied that brown shade and I'm satisfied with it, I'm taking that purple from the same eyeshadow palette and I'm going to put that on the same place I put the brown shade just to darken the crease up. Um, I want some kind of color on my crease as a transition color and so I'm just going to keep applying the purple until I like what it, how it looks and then I'm going to take this red shade from the Take Me To Brazil eyeshadow palette and also blend that in with the rest of the eyeshadow. I'm a little lower, I'm closer to my, to my eyelid with this shade and I'm just blending it in with this um, blending brush from e.l.f. I've done that, I'm going to take this crisp brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to take this blue shade and put that on my crease and the outer corner of my eye. I'm also going to drag it into the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to blend it out. I'm doing this because I want to lay some kind of um foundation or transition for the next shade i'm going to put on my on my eyelid i don't know if that makes sense but i like when i do stuff like this and how the look comes out at the end of the day so now i'm blending it out and once in a while when i blend i'll dip my brush into the purple shade from the b by box beauty eyeshadow palette and blend with that and then i'll go back in and apply some more blue until I like how it looks. So now I'm going to take this um, Colourpop uh, 
color pop eyeshadow and this is in shameless and I'm going to it's just a very pretty green shade and I'm taking it with my finger and putting it on my eyelid and also in the outer corner of my eyelid and then I'm going to blend this out and like I said earlier as I blend as I blend I dip my brush into the purple shade from the Be by Bob's Beauty eyeshadow palette and blend it out if you notice I'm blending where the green eyeshadow mixed with the crease eyeshadow just to soften any harsh lines and then I go back in with the blue in the outer corner of my eye and I blend some more so now I'm using some white to clean the outer corner of my eye and as I clean I create an angle and then I'm adding that um, white shade in the inner corner of my eyes just to create some brightness for my eye I like, from, I like doing that because it just makes my eye my eyes pop and I'm using the super sizer mascara to do my um, lashes and I am applying 12 lashes and this one um, this ones are from uh, what's it from? oh it's from Morphe brushes it's the number 45 applying <laughs> 12 lashes is something that I don't like doing so if I can avoid doing it I would I mean I can but um, <laughs> I just feel like doing it in every eye look because I feel like it makes my eyes pop. It makes the makeup look look more sophisticated. Um, yeah. But then I, after I apply it, I like to press it with my real lashes, and it just makes it look um, better. And then I'm just going to line the edge of where the lash, the false lashes, is placed on my eyelid. If that makes sense just to cover up any um, glue showing or like something like that now it's time for the face and I feel like it just didn't make sense for a while but um, yeah I hope you guys understood what I was saying it's very late here I'm priming my face with the Elf face primer and now I'm applying my the okay, Brown Foundation Stick in Almond 7 and I'm going to blend it out with this powder brush from Wet n Wild and I am holding my powder brush like that because um, well it's a powder brush it's not meant for rubbing in foundation <laughs> so I have to press it on my face to be able to um, blend my foundation so for um, concealer I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fun and I'm just going to put that everywhere I want to highlight. So to blend this out, I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm just pressing that into my skin and blending. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Polka and I am just contouring my face, you know? I'm putting that um, below my cheekbone, my nose, forehead, side of my head and I'm taking the other side of the beauty blender and blending it out. To blend some more, I'm using that powder brush I used to blend my foundation to blend any line and it just makes everything look um, seamless. And now I am setting my uh, concealer with the S1 powder and I'm just using the Beauty Blender to dab that on. Dab that on. Dab, dab, dab. dab. <laughs> So now I'm 
just brushing the powder off. I don't bake, I just put on the powder and count 5 seconds and I brush it off. And now um, for my under eye, well my waterline, I'm taking that blue shade and I'm just going to blend that under my water line and I'm also going to go in with that red shade and put that below where I put the um, blue eyeshadow I am also going to take that shade that light shade and also put that in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten it up some more and I am putting mascara in my lower lashes and for blush, I am using my e.l.f. blush palette, which is my go-to blush palette. And I'm taking that two shades and putting it on my cheeks. And for highlighter, I am using the e.l.f. bronzer, which is also some, which is also a good highlighter that I like. And um, yeah, I'm putting that on the tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, and my cheekbones so I learned something from Patrick Star which is taking your damp beauty blender and pressing in your highlighter it just makes the highlighter look like it's coming out from your skin you know yeah. now I'm lining my lips with this um, uh, NYX lip liner I think it's, this is in um, purple in the shade purple and then I'm using the um, Lip Land Liquid Lipstick and this is an Empire and I'm putting that in the inner front of my of my lips, top and bottom and then I'll blend it out and I'll go back in with the next lip liner and after this I will be spraying my face oh I did show you guys why I sprayed my face with my um, elf makeup mist but yeah I did that and yeah this is a finished look guys I hope you enjoyed this video or at least learned something from this video Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Have a nice week!